guys and welcome to day three of your fossil advent calendar. So in today's video we're going to be learning about all things echinoids. Now echinoidea is the class but you might know it a bit better from some of the species within it. So if you've never heard of echinoids don't worry, but you might have heard of sea urchins. Now they are still alive today and they are an example of regular echinoids. So you might have seen them living in the oceans and they're these kind of like spiky creatures that if you step on will leave quite a nasty mark. But you can also get irregular echinoids, which are like sand dollars and heart-shaped urchins. So there is a bit of variation within this fossil group, but um, they're an extinct species, which means they're still living today. So these came into the regular echinoids have been living since the Ordovician period which is about 450 million years ago they came into existence and then the irregular echinoids so the sand dollars and heart-shaped urchins came about during the Jurassic era so about 200 million years ago and both types are still present today which I think is just amazing so I'm gonna do a bit of a show-and-tell now so I've got two specimens that I found here in France because I haven't got access to all my fossil hoard that that is in the UK so I'm working with what I found here and then I've also got some very tiny irregular echinoids to show you guys that my university has an example of so um, we'll go to the lab together and we'll look at them under the microscope which is pretty cool so uh, let's get to it. So these are the two echinoids I found since being here so unfortunately this one is pretty deformed but you can still see some of the details so if I flip it over um, you can see the dots on the bottom here so I hope you guys can see this, it's kind of like loads of little dots. Now that would have been covered in spines once upon a time and then all those spines would have fallen off and just left behind this kind of ball shape. And then you can also see some of the patterns around the side, but it's not the clearest of examples, but it's just what I have to work with. And then I've also got this little guy and you can see the patterns around the edge if it focuses for you guys, there you go, you can see all the little holes and the uniform kind of symmetry going around. So it's got that radial symmetry. So again, not the greatest specimen, but I'll now take you to the lab with me and we can look at some spines under microscope and also some irregular echinoids together. So here are the examples that we're going to look at under microscope. So we've got a specimen of a sea urchin at the top there and also below it some of the spines. So as you can see these specimens they're a few uh, millimeters across so you can see them without the use of a microscope but uh, using a microscope just makes it so much nicer to actually look at them. You can see them in so much more detail so I do steady my camera in a moment so you'll get a better view. But um, this specimen here is a lovely example of an irregular echinoid and we can see the bilateral symmetry of the shell and also you can see that there are no spines present and that is because when these creatures die the spines they uh, disconnect from the shell and you find them separately um, so a lot of the time you kind of find a rock with an accumulation of loads of spines because they kind of get carried away in the current and they just uh, build up in one section but uh, this is a lovely example of a modern echinoid and uh, it's a sea urchin and it's got a lovely tiny test here or shell um, and we can see that the size of these creatures varies quite a lot from you know a few millimeters up to you know quite a few centimeters so there is some variation there so next we'll look at the spines um, so these are two examples of the spines from sea urchins and you can see the lovely kind of mesh structure of them and uh, it's really interesting because you never you wouldn't be able to see this detail with your naked eye so I think it's quite cool to be able to see them down the microscope so that's these so that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to see some extra fossil content. I have a Twitter and an Instagram. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And hopefully I'll see you next time.